hello and welcome myself Rehan Ali and today in this tutorial we are gonna learn how to print these sand glass pattern and their alternatives so let's get it started so first we'll write our code to print this solid patent as I had shown you two solutions for our previous video in which we had written code for diamond patent. Here also I'll provide you two possible solutions then in incoming videos we'll discuss some more alternative ways to write code for printing this sand glass patent. So let's see our first solution. Here in our first solution we'll build this pattern by merging again these two patterns as like this. If you are unaware of these patterns, these are nothing but solid pyramid and reverse solid pyramid patterns. You can watch their explanation in above videos and I also had included links for those videos in the description. Okay, so let's see this method through the code. Here we wrote this code for printing pyramid pattern. Let's run it. And uh, this code is nothing but our reverse pyramid pattern. Let's run it too. Oh, okay, so as we can see here, this part is nothing but reverse pyramid pattern, and uh, this part is our pyramid. So for merging these two codes, we have to write our reverse pyramid code first, and then our pyramid code. Let's see how. So here this part is responsible for printing the worst part of this pipe pattern and uh, this part is responsible for printing this part of the pattern. So we can cut it from here and uh, paste it here as like this. Now first let's run it to see the output. And uh, yeah, somehow this pattern is very similar to this one, but not exactly. So for making it to look as perfect sunglass pattern, we have to make some changes here in this code. As this line is extra printed here, for eliminating this part from here, we just need to start it from 2. So we just need to change this value with 2 and uh, also we have to change this temp variable which is nothing but the 1 here. So we have to change this 3 because we want this part to be printed first and we have to eliminate this part. Alright so let's run it and uh, yeah this is our sand glass patent. One side note instead of starting it from 2 you can also subtract 1 from here also. But then you have to make some changes in this part. Let's first see what output we are getting. Yeah, we get this output because in our previous method, this loop prints 5 spaces as this row well at that time was started from 2 and this is what we wanted here. But now when we are starting it from 1, this loop will run 6 times which is why we are getting these 6 extra spaces printed here. So we also have to reduce this value by 1 as like this. Now run it and yeah again this is our solid sand glass pattern. As it is clear now, now I again change this value to start from 2 and I cut this part also. Alright so now similar to our previous pattern, we can also print this pattern in only number of rows times and here number of rows are nothing but the 7. Basically I am talking about these lines or rows. These lines are nothing but the double of our numbers which is 7 here and uh, this pattern consists 13 rows that are approximately double of our numbers. So what we want here is we want our output to be printed in only number of rows times as defined by our numbers variable and uh, that is nothing but the 7 right now. So for achieving this what we can do here is we can halves the values of these numbers in both of the for loop but instead of doing this here in these loops i'll declare one extra variable as like this and assign this value to it this value is nothing but the 4 as numbers divided by 2 returns 3 here now we'll replace numbers with this new numbers variable here as like this now this loop will run 4 times and here in this way by reducing this value by 1 because we want this loop to run 1 less than our first loop in this case it is 3 that's it now let's run it 
and uh, yeah this is our first solution of printing this pattern now we'll see our next solution so here for our second solution i am taking numbers as 7 see this output here for the first row number of space is 0 and uh, number of stars are 7 which is nothing but our numbers in general solution as numbers are nothing but 7 here Similarly for the second row num number of spaces are 1 and number of stars are nothing but the 5 and uh, for the third row number of spaces are 2 and uh, number of stars are 3 and for the fourth row number of spaces are 3 and stars is 1. It means that number of spaces are incrementing by 1 each time and number of stars are decrementing by 2 each time. But from row 4 this behavior get completely opposite means here number of spaces are decrementing by 1 and the number of stars are incrementing by 2 as you can see in these values so what we can do here is we can use these two variables here num spaces is for number of spaces and num pattern symbols for number of stars i assign them their uh, initial value as space equals to 0 and stars are nothing but the 7 for the first row so our code will look something like this at the present this loop will run 7 times as we want our number of rows as 7 but these values are dynamic in behavior means value of these variables will be changed according to some conditions. Let's first see what are those conditions. Here as we can see in this part when value of row is smaller or equals to 4 we had these conditions where we are incrementing space value by 1 and decrementing stars value by 2. So for this we can write our code as like this. We already had discussed this condition in our previous tutorial so now our final code will look something like this let's run it and uh, yeah this is our second solution for this pattern and uh, as I said I am gonna discuss some more alternatives ways in our next videos you can also check 10 plus ways of printing patterns playlist to find some more patterns alternatives alright so now let's see our hollow pattern So here for printing this hollow pattern we just need to add some conditions in this part of the code and uh, as you already know that this code is nothing but our solid sand glass pattern. So for printing this part of the pattern as we know this value is always starting from 1 so these value are nothing but our code value 1. Therefore our first condition will look something like this again for printing this part of the pattern these value are nothing but our num pattern symbols as for the first row this value will be 7 and because of this only we get these 7 stars printed similarly for the second row this value is 5 because we are reducing this num pattern symbol value by 2 each time and as this value is 5 here we get these stars printed and so on so we can say our second condition will be this similarly for printing these two parts Rowell is 1 for this part and the Rowell is 7 for this part which is nothing but similar to our numbers. So our final 4 conditions will be these. Let's include these conditions in our code to see the result. Now run it and uh, yeah this pattern is nothing but our hollow sand glass pattern. Now let's drive some more conditions to print this last pattern. As this last pattern is same as uh, this pattern, these four conditions are required here too. We just need to find one extra condition to print this part of the pattern. So if we carefully see this value, this value is nothing but num pattern symbols divided by 2 plus 1. Let's see this here as we know this num pattern symbol divided by 2 plus 1 is nothing but the 4 because the value of num pattern symbol is nothing but the 7 here right now similarly for second row as num pattern symbol is nothing but the 5 this value will be 3 because we know that for integer division c language round off the value and return only the integer part and here this value is nothing but the 2 so 2 plus 1 is 3 and we also want this value to be 3 here similarly for the third row this value is 2 and so on so we can use this one extra condition in our previous code which we had written for printing our hollow sand glass pattern. Let's see how can we do that. Here I'll use one else if block to include this condition. 
we can also write this condition in our if block but i am using this extra else if block to make it more readable so now let's run it and uh, yeah this is our last pattern of this tutorial congratulations we did it we successfully wrote our code to print these patterns thanks for the patience if you like this tutorial please click on the like button and share it with your friends also subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss out any incoming videos like this one and that being said see you in the next video